Hello Makers! So today I want to show you guys a little trick I've learned along the way when it comes to designing CAD parts uh, in order to avoid using supports. Now when I did my uh, my fireworks lamp video for the My Manufacturer competition which by the way is still active so make sure you check it out I will leave a link in the video description below. I spoke about how I did these inlets for the screws here which is which pretty much are printed like this but I did not use supports because I used the sacrificial layer and I got quite a few people asking me questions about this so I decided to make a video about it and show you guys how I did it. So what I'm going to do now is hop on to the PC, open Fusion 360 and design a couple of parts just to give you guys an idea. So the first thing we're going to do is create a sketch. Now we're going to create a sketch from the top and I'm just going to draw um, a few circles, random sizes, and do one five and four and uh, three centimeters. Um, next, I'm going to draw a line just so I can print a cross section of it to give you guys a better idea of what's going on. I'm going to stop the sketch. I'm going to use the same example. Um, or better yet, I'm going to use the example that I um, I mentioned during my vase video where I do the inserts for the screws um, without having to do supports. So I'm going to enable the sketches here. Extrude that. Eight. Actually, no. One centimeter. Now, next is this. eight millimeters okay so essentially that would be so imagine this all of this is the base of the base and this would be the uh, insert for the screw now obviously um, let me do a uh, section analysis to give you a better idea so if you had to print this um, now obviously you'd need supports down here in the bottom um, right here because obviously that kind of print in there and even if this for some reason was inverted you still wouldn't be you'd still need supports over here so what I tend to do is um, I'm gonna create another sketch but this time I'm gonna create it on this face right here and I'm going to project this circle right there and um, I'm going to stop the sketch and I'm going to extrude that, but I'm going to extrude that only by 0.2 millimeters. Because that is the thickness of a layer which I'm going to be printing at. So what's going to happen is when it prints that it uses, hold on, it uses that base as kind of like bridging. So this wouldn't require supports and the rest of the print would actually print on top of that. Now, since that is just one single layer um, of filament or of extrusion, it's going to be very thin and very easily removable. Um, so you can use a borrowing tool for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print a few versions of this. Um, I'll print like half a circle like this and the full circle with supports, without supports, just to give you guys a better idea. And then you can tell me what you think. Now some people have some issues with supports, their interface layers tend to stick together so it becomes a bit of a burden to clean up the supports. Uh, I use the Mark III because it tends to do supports really well even though 
Yes, you do tend to, I'm not gonna say struggle, but it's a bit of a pain. However, if you do it right, as you can see, it prints perfectly fine as you would expect it to with supports. However, when it comes to using a sacrificial layer, um, all you have to do is literally just use a borrowing tool. Um, if you don't have one, I will leave an affiliate link in the video description. And all you have to do is just scrape away the excess filament. And that's basically it. As you can see, the difference between the two is pretty much non-existent. Um, they look exactly the same. It works exactly the same way. Now, obviously there are limitations as to how wide of a bridge you can do because this essentially would be a bridge, um, but it, it would work up to six, seven centimeters. I've used it and it works fine. Something like this can also be used on islands in the middle of a ring like this. So you wouldn't need supports there either. Now, not only does it take less time to print when using a sacrificial layer because it doesn't have to stay um, uh, printing all the supports, but you also uh, reduce waste. Uh, the waste that you would use on supports then just becomes a few extruded um, pieces of plastic. Now, in my case, what happened was a few months ago, a customer came to me and wanted 500 of these cones to be printed. Um, these are covers for some small motor, I don't know. Um, but he wanted 500 of these printed in ABS. Now, with something like this, whichever way you print it, you would need support. So I asked him um, to send me the CAD files to see if I can do something with it in order to reduce the cost. And I did this sacrificial layer. Now, this takes about two hours, 10 minutes to print in ABS um, with supports. Without supports, with the sacrificial layer, it takes about one hour and 55 minutes. So you're saving yourself 15 minutes. Not only that, I've used 10% less filament um, in doing this and there is less post-processing going on, less waste, uh, it's much more cost efficient, I saved some money for the customer who was happy. When, when it comes to doing just one, it might not make that much of a difference, but having 500, that's a huge cost because all that support saved about one kilogram of filament. So there you have it. That's the trick I use to avoid using supports. Whenever I want to design something that's easy to uh, print without supports, just to remove the hassle, because as we know, supports are absolutely evil. This neat little trick, you can experiment, you can do quite a lot of things with it to avoid supports, but I do suggest that if you are into designing, um, even if it's the smallest part, try it out, see how it goes. As for me, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, do not forget that the My Mini Factory 3D Printing and Design Arduino competition is still active. You can win yourself a CraftBot Plus 3D printer. Make sure you check the link in the video description or the video that I did about the lamp over there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.